Greetings, YouTube. The public square is the quintessential platform for free speech. The center of a town or city, a person can go there, stand there, soapbox not required, and espouse their opinion. Tell everyone what they think. They are standing on ground that we all own. We all have an equal share in that ground. We have all paid for that ground. It is ours collectively. Yes, it's a terribly socialist concept. Then again, so is so many of the things that makes America great. But even in that quintessential platform for free speech, speech is not limitless. You cannot incite a riot. You cannot use your, that platform for the classic screaming fire at a theater attempting to create a panic. And you cannot publicly harass or slander someone. So even in the perfect spot for expressing your freedom of expression, it is not limitless. It never has been, and it's never going to be. But if you're not standing in that public space, square, your speech is curtailed even further. If you're standing in the middle of a mall, private property, you can't do this. You can be ushered away until you are now outside somewhere else. But if you are here on YouTube, you do not have limitless free speech. On the micro scale here on my channel, I control the channel. So if you start espousing bigotry or hatred, I can just make you go away. But on a larger scale, YouTube decides what is and isn't allowed on its servers that it controls. They are private servers. In that same way, if YouTube were suddenly al allowing people to espouse things which are horrible, even worse than they allow now, if they were allowing people to be harassed here, docs, doxed, Yes, correct. If they were allowing people to be targeted like that, then you could look at YouTube and say, why are you doing it? Why are you endorsing this? Why are you allowing this to happen on your servers, which you own? Why do I bring this up? I bring this up because of one of the most vile places I think exists on the, on, on the internet. And that's not 4chan. That's Reddit. And why do I think Reddit is worse than 4chan? Because 4chan is at least honest what it is. Reddit likes to cover itself in a veneer of civil liberties. We're doing it for the freedom of speech. Even though those private servers are intentionally putting forth vile, repulsive, harassing content. And you're going to say, well, you know, that's only part of it. You know, that's awesome. But if you have a piece of fruit and it's rotten, do you leave it there or do you cut that rotten section off so you can preserve the rest of the fruit? Now, a smart person cuts off the rot and throws it away. But Reddit is allowing the rot to continue. I had someone recently refer to Reddit as a utility. It's not a utility. It's a private server. A server that is allowing the rot to exist and to, and to propagate from that source. People are sending horrible content to Reddit. Reddit is taking that horrible content and then intentionally disseminating it to the world. I can judge them for that. I even had the person tell me that ham radios are utility. Ham radios aren't a utility. Ham radios are a box that allow a person to broadcast on a section of, of radio waves that the government our government, us, has reserved for the use of ham radios. And again, even there, speech is not limitless. Not only do you have the same standards you have in the public square I mentioned, but you also have FCC codes, uh, requirements and such. So the speech is even more limited on a ham radio than it is in the public square. So that was a really horrible metaphor the guy was using. 
And I say the guy because the guy is just that. He's a white dude. Speaking from a position of privilege, where he is very likely never going to be harassed or hunted by the people from Reddit. So he's okay with the freedom of express because it's not harming him, which is a particularly narrow libertarian worldview, which is sat on a different level. So speech is never limitless. And speech that harms others, that is housed on a private server, should be cut out. And you're going to say, well, you know, who's going to be the arbiter of that? The arbiter is, is that private server being used to harm other people? And if the answer is yes, then there you go. I'm stunned that someone hasn't sued YouTube or Reddit for her being harassed through that particular platform. Because someone's intentionally housing that content. Now you can say, well, both Reddit and YouTube, they don't review everything before it goes out. You can, you're correct, they don't. But once they've been made aware of it and they don't remove it, they have then taken responsibility for it. They have then taken ownership of that content. They have said, okay, it's all right if this horrible, vile swill exists on our channel. And I have a really difficult time believing that everyone that argues from the freedom of speech point doesn't get this, doesn't understand this. Some, I will admit, are probably genuinely ignorant of what's going on, and, I, and, I, and, and while I cannot give them a pass, I can understand that they're arguing from a position of ignorance. But I know a whole lot of people aren't arguing from a position of ignorance. They know exactly how Reddit is being used. They know it's being used to oppress marginalized social groups. They know it's being used to, to spread misogyny and hate. And they know it's being used to harass individual people. And they either don't care or they consider that a feature not a bug. So that's why I judge Reddit far harsher than 4chan. Because at least the bigots and the warped individuals that do the vile things on 4chan are friggin' honest and are not hiding by a veneer, behind a veneer of civil liberties and human rights all the time, all the while they are violating the civil liberties and human rights of other people. The 4chan folks are at least honest.